All right, so I recently got this pair of red spitting cobras, Naja Palita, and I've had them in this temporary enclosure for now, which they've, as you can see, covered in venom absolutely everywhere. And I'm gonna make it a bit more like desert-orientated habitat, kind of like this enclosure for my zebra spitting cobra. And I'm gonna do that today. So, if you could just... Louise is gonna hold the camera. Before I get them out, just come in close and film through the glass. And I've got this hide in here, but they usually never use it, ever. For some reason, they always like to hide under the water bowl. And there they are. are a little bit, they do have a temperament, so I'm not going to bother freehandling these as much. We're just going to stick them in here for now, while we clean the cage and remake it. This one is a lot bigger than the other one. And I'm hoping maybe to breed them next year or the year after. I'm not quite sure yet which year. Because I don't want to breed them when they're still on the small side. But she's getting to quite decent size now. I think she might be going in shed soon too. She over here is trying to be an escape artist, so we've actually had to put a bag of mouse pellets on top of her, and she is not a happy cat. just chilling. Oh, always with that mouth open. Alright, now it's time to just clean everything up and start from scratch. So I've 
just decently cleaned it up. It's not perfect, there's still a bit of dust, but I'm gonna cover that with substrate anyway, so it won't really matter. So now, time to fill it with substrate and then get decorating. I'm gonna probably fast forward that again too. So, here we go. substrate then I've added a whole kind of like a bay of gravel because the stone is um, it holds the temperature and the heat differently than the wood does so the snake can find like the perfect spot for it to sit I've actually found these pieces of wood I don't know what they are so don't even ask in the comments because I know you will um, yeah I actually just found those on the beach washed up no idea what they are but they looked cool so I took them Put the little skull up there and I've put this little dried vegetation there to give them a place to hide because they definitely need somewhere to hide in order to feel safe and not get stressed otherwise they might just stop eating or shed improperly or whatever but yeah they've got two hiding spots one there and underneath there there's also a quite good place for them to hide all right, now that I've 100% finished setting up the enclosure for these guys, I'm quite happy with it, and it's time to put them back and see how they explore it. So, we've got, put this one in first. Halo. She's calmed down a bit during her stay in the box. Come on. Out you go. Maybe I'll just use that hook actually. Just for a bit of extra distance. Because I I don't fully trust these guys yet that much. They're still... I think they'd be handleable, but... See, sometimes they'll just hood up like that still. So they're a bit sketchy. Especially when they... Yeah, when they do that. Hello. Oh. And now she's trying to jump down the leg. Sometimes these things are actually a lot easier without hook. People always say, oh, use hook, use hook, but for me personally, I feel a lot more comfortable with my animals when I can use my hands. Because I can just, I feel like I can read and understand them better. I don't know. It's just a lot less stressful on the snake too, in my opinion, because the snake seems to just behave so much nicer when you take it in your hand, rather than trying to balance or wiggle it on a hook or get it on or off the hook or whatever. And now this little one over here. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. He is still... He is definitely still a little bit sketchy. Tap on his face to focus it. Oh. That was a bit... Yeah, he is definitely very alert. So this is them now that they're in the new enclosure. Sorry about that noise, it's just the drain pipes they run straight through my reptile room and it makes noises whenever someone flushes. Okay, now we've just moved them to their new setup and they're out exploring the place. This one is, at least the other one. The other one's kind of hiding. I don't know how well you can see that. Wait, let me try to position it. Right in there. Let me actually get a light in there. There's the other one hiding in there, but it's really hard to see. This pretty much concludes that video. Peace.